Good morning. It's been about a week since I first introduced myself and just wanted to give an update on some changes over the past week. Uh, I did do a couple training hikes last weekend, one short couple mile hike and then the one I posted uh, on Sunday uh, to Mount Moeller was a little bit more strenuous of a hike. Uh, learned a lot from that hike though. I'm glad I did it. Uh, maybe not in the moment. It was difficult. It was cold. Uh, but I learned some things about hiking in cold weather, which I haven't really done a lot of, so, so that was helpful. Uh, one of the things I've, I discovered is um, that's an issue is, is um, Trying to, I, I think there was so much elevation. I did a lot of sweating, do, doing all the switchbacks, going uphill, um, which resulted in um, having difficulty keeping my head warm uh, throughout the day. Uh, I started out hiking with my head wet. I got out of the shower and put a beanie on right after I got out of the shower, which was a bad idea. So I started out with wet hair to begin with. Um, and then throughout the day I kept sweating so I soaked through a couple hats and had a really hard time keeping my ears warm. As far as the rest of my body though I was I was uh, okay the whole time. I had the right layering system and uh, so I did okay as far as everything else went. It was mainly just my head that was cold. Uh, also I discovered that um, throughout the winter holidays and not doing a lot of hiking I'm definitely out of shape again. I was very winded going up hills and about the end of the summer um, I was in a lot better shape and, and I would have been able to do that hike a, a lot easier and it would have been a lot more enjoyable. So I definitely have some work to do to get prepared to be able to hike every day on the PCT. So uh, unfortunately, I'm sick, and I've been fighting this cold, and it, feel like, it feels like it's gotten worse over the last week again. Probably from being out in the cold didn't help, but um, I have a really bad cough and a sore throat, so I am indoors today instead of being out hiking, which is a bummer because the sun's out. Um, I'm trying to rest up today, though, and, and hopefully I can at least get out for a little while tomorrow. I probably won't do... Um, a whole lot of elevation like I did last weekend just because my lungs um, are struggling right now so I do have some new, new gear I want to try out though so um, uh, I'll keep you updated on that I'll if I do go tomorrow I'll probably post a video so alright well first update in the last week um, is that I got this um, which I'm really excited about. It's official now. I have my uh, PCT through hike permit. Um, so I'll be leaving March 28th from Campo, California. Uh, so, you know, I kind of went out on a limb there and put my notice in at work before I, uh, while well, my permit was still pending, but I was pretty sure that it would go through okay, and it did. So I, I feel a lot safer now that I have it in hand and, and it's official. So anyway, there's that. And I know a lot of other people got theirs this week too. So congratulations to everybody um, that's been approved to um, hike this spring. All right, I got some packages in the mail today. And so um, I will be opening up my new ULA backpack that I got Um so I, you'll see that today. And then also I want to just kind of go over what gear I have. I've laid it out so I kind of have an idea of what I can use and what I can't use. And so I'm just going to go through that a little bit and, and what I have so far and um, kind of assess why I've decided to use some of it and some of it I'm going to replace. So um, One new item I got that is not going to be in this video because I'm using it to film, but I got a selfie stick this morning uh, from Amazon, and um, I like it a lot already. It's only about three ounces. It's a tripod and selfie stick all in one. Um, it's made by Pocanic, which I don't even know who that is, but 
it was super cheap, 15 bucks, but it has a telescoping selfie stick um, that I can use for my iPhone. I can also go hook a GoPro to it. Um, it has uh, Bluetooth, it has a button that's removable, um, and it has a tripod. I think this is going to work well for me, uh, just because it's really lightweight and it's all in one. This way I don't have to have a stick on the end of my trekking pole and also carry a tripod. So, um, I think this is going to be a little bit easier for me to, to maneuver to, um, because I was thinking that using the pick stick on the end of my trekking pole that my arm would probably get tired trying to hold it out um, for long periods of time on the end of a trekking pole where this is a little bit shorter. Um, I just think it's going to work better for me. So pretty happy with this. Uh, you know, I wasn't sure what I was getting. I've never used a selfie stick before or a tripod. And um, this one had no instructions really. There was a couple like just four steps on the side of the box in really small print, but it hooked up to my phone with no problem at all. I was able to figure it out. Um, and I think it's going to work well. I don't know how durable it is, but um, it's cheap enough that I guess if I break it, I could always order another one uh, along the way if I need to. So anyway, I'm going to be trying this out hiking. I think it's going to make a big difference um, uh, in my videoing. So Pretty excited about that. Good morning. I just uh, got my new backpack in the mail and getting ready to open it up. Um, this came from ULA and I got the circuit and I'm really impressed already with their customer service. I ordered this Thursday morning and it was sitting on my doorstep today and it's Saturday morning so it only took two days from the time I ordered it to, to arrive. Super excited about this so I can try it out uh, before I go. Um, I got the, yeah, it's the ULA circuit. I got the small torso size, uh, medium hip belt, S-curve shoulder straps. And it is Blue Blaze, because blue is my favorite color. All right. Yeah, this is really nice. Super excited about it. So this one, um, let's set it upside down. It's uh, 41 ounces total with everything on it. Um, I know I might be removing a couple things, or at least probably the bladder pouch, I know for sure, because I'm not going to be using that. Um, yeah, super nice. Um, I've never used the S-straps before, so this will be new for me. I hope this works out. It's one of the reasons I wanted to order this first, to make sure that's going to work for me. Um, I heard, heard it works better for women, um, especially with larger chest size. It works better on going around your breath. So I'm going to try this one out. And um, I like the fact that it has water bottle holders on the straps. I don't know if you can see these, but they slip on the top and the bottom of your water bottle. And um, it also has some hand straps that are attached to put your hands in uh, to help with circulation while you're hiking. I will probably take these off because I do use trekking poles, so I don't know that I would use these. Uh, hip belt. Yeah, I'll have to try this on and, and check it all out um, and do a review of it after I've tried it. But it's got some pretty decent size pockets on the belt. Uh, I'll be keeping probably my electronics and some snacks in. 
Um, it does have low lifters on the top and the bottom, which is a little bit unique. Most of them don't have them on the bottom, so I'm kind of excited about that, uh, being able to fit it to me well. Um, nice big side pockets that you can fit a couple water bottles in in these, and then they do have a cord to cinch them down tight too. Um, big front pocket, stretchy. You can put your uh, any items in that you don't want to have to dig in uh, in your backpack for while you're hiking, and you can put wet items in here, and um, that's going to be really handy. Um, they do have. Uh, I don't know what you call these, but um, this cording on the outside that um, helps cinch your sack down, but you also can tie stuff to the outside of this pocket. Um, I've heard that it's good for if you're drying clothes out that got wet. So that'll come in handy. And then the top, it has a roll top. And I forget what the total capacity was. I think it's, let me see if it says on here. It doesn't, but it's pretty big. I think it was somewhere between 50 and 60. Um, and that's including all the pockets too. But I think it's gonna be plenty big enough. You can see that's, you know, uh, you could put quite a bit in there and it's just a big open space. So you load everything from the top. Um, what I like about this too is because you can roll it down, I can use it when I don't have as much stuff, but you can also, like when I have to put a bear canister in here for the Sierras, um, it'll be enough capacity to be able to do that. So, yeah, and you can either roll it down, um, and cinch it this way. Um, or it also has straps to cinch it from the side where you can really cinch it down tight, which is probably the way I will use it, I'm guessing. Yeah, so anyway, there's my new pack. Um, it feels pretty, pretty cushiony. Um, it just has like one aluminum stay that goes through the pack to give it some form. And then it has a, a aluminum, I believe, ring that goes around the outside too. It just uh, keeps it, gives it some form for stability. So, yeah, I'm going to try this out and see how it fits. And uh, once I get it packed out and yeah, take it on some hikes, I will um, update you on how this fits and, and whether I feel like it's gonna work for me on my my hike. Okay, so this is the gear I have so far. Just have it all laid out on the table here. Um, so first of all, I guess I'll just start back here. Um, these are just undergarments uh, that I've already been using and I'll probably get one more set to carry two Probably carry two bras and two pair of underwear. Um, and then I, you know, I'm still debating on this, but I think I want to bring um, a pair of shorts and a tank top just to be able to swim in if I want to. Also, I could use them for town clothes. Um, and I might end up hiking in these shorts too. They're super lightweight uh, under armor. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is that they do have white in them and it's probably going to be hard to keep them looking white. But anyway, they're super comfortable and super lightweight. So I think they would be nice for the desert especially. And then just a, a tank top. Um, so, and then I have, as far as socks go, I have these uh, darn tough wool socks. These are like the boot cut thick ones. I love them. I wear them all the time. I'm probably going to use these to sleep in. And then I have two pairs of right socks 
that I've been trying out for the last few months. Um, I bought these on clearance at a sporting goods store, in, you know, where I live, and they have a liner inside of them. Um, so they're like double layer, and I wasn't sure how they were going to work out. I thought that I might have a problem with them like bunching up when you're wearing them, but they've actually worked out really good. They're really comfortable, and I haven't had any problems with blisters wearing them. So, yeah, I'm not really sure. I was probably going to get some, what do they call it, dingy socks. And also another pair of, uh, like, ankle darn tough. But I might end up bringing one pair of these. It's not sure yet. Um, the reason I'm thinking about getting the dingy, I've never worn toe socks before, but I have a problem with just the way, with my feet. Um, I don't tend to get blisters. I've been pretty lucky as far as that goes, but I have just the way my toes are shaped. I have a, I tend to get a corn in between my pinky toe and the second toe from the end. Um, so I'm thinking maybe that having toe socks might help prevent that from happening while I'm hiking because I tend to get them um, frequently on that same toe and I think just because my toes squish together uh, and so I'm also going to get ultra uh, Lone Peak shoes too to try to help with that um, just having a bigger toe box I've never used them before I've never worn a, a no drop shoe so, I, so I'm going to get those fairly soon so I can try them out and see if that works for me but that's kind of what my thinking is around that um, because to me having my feet comfortable and well taken care of are going to be really important in being successful on this hike. So I also have um, my handkerchief that I like to bring. This can be multi-purpose. I can use it for my head. Um, I'll probably get a buff too, but I can I can use this for multiple things. Wiping out my tent. I can use it, you know, for cooking. Um, you can use it for a sling if you get hurt, you know, I don't think you can go wrong bringing a handkerchief and it's lightweight. I also have this uh, compression sock that I'm thinking about bringing. Um, I've had a problem with plantar fasciitis in the past. Um, it's been like six months since I've had a problem, but it still concerns me that that may happen again. So, um... When I've had the problem before, I, I have two of these compression socks. I'm probably just going to bring one, but it seems to help. Um, it's not very comfortable wearing while I'm hiking. Um, I have worn it hiking, but it, it seems to help if I wear it at night after hiking um, and just relieving the, the pain from it. And my glove system, I'm still debating. I thinking about just these are just liner gloves um, and then I'm, I definitely are gonna gonna want a waterproof glove uh, for when I get to Washington maybe the Sierras too and I'm kind of thinking about these but I'm not sure yet they're a little bit heavy I need to weigh them I don't have a scale so I don't know how much they weigh but uh, I don't know, I'm debating. I'm still looking at different glove systems and um, definitely gonna get some sun gloves too, but uh, I definitely wanna be able to keep my hands warm and dry. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what I'm thinking, looking at different options. And then um, what I'll be wearing most of the time, I've already had these and I've used them a lot. So I just have some REI um, zip off cargo pants. Uh, I like them a lot and I hike on them frequently, so I'll probably just go ahead and bring those. I don't think I need anything new there. Um, I have a Columbia Omni Shade shirt. Um, that's really comfortable. This will work well in the desert. It's nice lightweight. It's vented. Um, protects you from the sun. It's a little bit large on me. It's a men's, but so the sleeves are a little bit long and it's a... Um, but for the most part, it fits pretty good other than being it being a little bit long on me because I'm short. But I, I think that I'm going to stay stick with that one. And then I just have this like dry fit shirt. Um, I think this is from Walmart, but this will work fine for a t-shirt. And then for sleeping, again, I have my darn tough socks. These are nice and warm, comfortable. 
Um, and then I just have a um, cold proof um, base layer. I think these are like a medium to two level um, base layer and they're super comfortable. Uh, so I'm going to use those for sleeping. And then I think I'm going to bring my Beklava too. This is fleece. I used it on this last hike. Um, I'm getting an enlightened equipment uh, down sleeping bag. So it's not going to be like a mummy style. So I'm thinking um, I'm really going to want to keep my head warm. And so I think I'm going to bring this and I can use also use this hiking um, in the colder areas where I need to keep my neck warm. And then I have, um, oh, this is my Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisper uh, Puffy I just got. It's only seven ounces and I haven't even used it yet. Um, it's a little bit tight under the armpits, so I'm a little concerned, you know. I've been debating whether I should bring it back and try to get an extra large. Or just go with what I have. I'm sure I'm going to lose some weight along the way. So I think it'll be okay. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like tight clothes. So I don't know. I love it. And I got it on a discount for about half price. And they don't have any other ones. You know, I don't really want to pay $350 to get a different size. So I'm probably going to keep it and just uh, hope that it'll fit a little better along the way. Um, but it will work. I mean, it's I can move in it. It's just a little bit tight um, under the arms, like I said. And let's see. Then I have this is just personal hygiene items. You know, razor, toothbrush, my uh, chapstick, toothpaste. Uh, there's some hand sanitizer, um, indenture cleaner. Um, I still need to add some other things and then I have to find some kind of a container to keep my upper dentures in too. I haven't heard anybody talk about that on these trails. I don't know if nobody else wears dentures, but I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to do that. Um, I guess I, hopefully I can just keep them in my tent in the bag. I'll have to like boil some hot water probably at night, maybe to clean them in. So anyway, I... We'll figure that out. And then I just have uh, some medical stuff, some, you know, uh, Benadryl, some moleskin. Uh, I have, I don't know, some antiseptic towelettes and some hydrocortisone cream and alcohol wipes and uh, anti-diarrheal. Um, I have a sewing kit in here couple big uh, safety pins, um, some Tylenol and some tweezers and band-aids. Uh, it's super light. Uh, my sunscreen that I can attach to my pack. And for my cooking, I just have a little sponge that I cut into a quarter from a regular sponge and just a little um, camp towel for cleaning. Um, and then I have a little bit of gold bond, just body powder. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring this or not, but I think I might. It's not that heavy. And here I have my bug spray right now, my DEET, but this isn't a very good bottle, so I'm probably going to find something different. I'm just afraid this might... I've been using it, but I'm afraid it might crack and end up, you know, spilling out my backpack, so I might find something different to put my spray in. Um, this is... Just uh, some mace I have, and this is super light too. It's got a little case. I've had this for a long time. This is pepper spray, um, so I might bring that. I'm not bringing like bear spray. I'm not bringing a big old knife or anything. So this will be my self defense. And this is just a repair kit, and I need to actually open it up and see if it's going to work for anything. I had it for my other gear. Um, so I think I had gotten this for my other air mattress, and I don't know if it's going to work with the one I'm getting now. So anyway, I'll have to check it out, but I just threw it in here. And then I brought, okay, got my big lighter for cooking. Um, I also have this fire starter. 
What's it? I mean, I probably wouldn't bring this in the beginning. I might bring it though once I get to um, the colder, colder weather, just to have for fire starters. It's pretty light too. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but just thinking. I, I want to be able to start fires if I need to to get warm. And I have my collapsible cup, and this is a cheap one. I, again, I need to find out what the weight is. I was going to get the Sea to Summit. It's pretty much the same thing, but I, I'm going to see if there's a weight difference. If there's not much of a weight difference, I'll keep this one. If there is, I'll probably get the other one. And then I have my battery banks. I have two of them. And again, I think I, I need to check the weights on these. These work okay. I'm probably going to get the Anchor 2100 um, ones that have dual ports to charge and probably just leave these at home. But this is what I use for now. Um, and they work okay. They charge, they both charge my phone um, two or three times. And then I just have a set of headphones here for my iPhone. So headlamps, I've been debating. I was originally gonna get try to get a black diamond headlamp, but the more research I've done, I found that I really didn't find anything else that I like that I think is any better than this one. And this one was cheap. I think I paid between 15 and 20 bucks for it. But it's 500 lumens. It's only, I think it's 3.5 ounces. It has a red light and it's rechargeable, which are all the things I want. Um, the red light on it isn't the greatest, but the other, which, you know, I just basically need that for a camp. Um, but the other light um, is really bright. I've, I've hiked with it a few times at night and it works really well. So I think I might just stick with this one because I really wanted a rechargeable one. I don't have to worry about bringing batteries with me. So um, I think that makes up for the extra rate. I'm sure I could find one that's, you know, one ounce or something, but you know, then you're packing batteries. So anyway, I think I might give this one a try. And then if, I, if it doesn't work or it doesn't stay charged long enough, I can always order um, a different one along the way. So I've kind of made a decision on that one to save some money. And then these are just my, um, I have a few dry bags. Uh, this was the Cita Summit smaller one that I'll use for my electronics. And then I have two um, larger ones that I'll probably use for... I don't know, clothing. I don't know if I'll bring both of them. I might just need one um, because I do plan on getting a Z Packs um, bear bag kit for my food. And then um, today I also got, so for my water system, um, I just got this in today. I got the Micro Squeeze. I've been using a Micro Mini, um, which I like. It's just the flow, flow rate isn't the greatest on the Mini. Um, so since I'm going to be using it every day, I um, upgraded to this one. Um, and I'm, what I'm hearing is that this one, the flow rate works as good as a squeeze. So I think this was the best option for me. Um, and I will, I also got the knock vector um, bag. I just got that today. It's a two liter bag. So I'll use that for my dirty water and then probably bring this one too. I don't really like these, but just as a backup in the desert, I'll bring the one that came with the Sawyer squeeze. And then I have a life water bottle and I'll get probably three more like smart water bottles. So that should give me two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know, seven, eight liters of uh, water capacity, which is should be plenty. Um, and, and won't weigh that much. And then I've got, um, heck here, these are my frog togs for rain gear. And, you know, I'm still debating. I was planning on using these at least for Washington. I know they work well up here because I've used them in Washington. Um, they're fairly lightweight. They're just not breathable. So I still would like to get something different to, um, the was a um, outdoor research helium jacket um, but I'm not sure I might just go ahead and use these and maybe get some different 
rain pants. I don't know. Um, these are cheap. And I know they're completely waterproof, so I mean, I don't have a problem using them. The pants are kind of baggy and they're too long for me, so I step on them, I end up rolling them up. So I don't know that they're a good option, but the raincoat, I think I'll probably definitely use at least for part of the hike. I'm just not sure if I'm going to use it um, in the beginning, so um, I'll keep you updated on that one. And if anybody has feedback on any of these items um, or suggestions, you know, feel free to leave me comments. And because uh, a lot of this, I don't have a lot of time to figure this all out. Um, so um, any feedback is helpful. And I, I'm trying to see how I can defray costs a little bit uh, and use what I have. But I also want to be light enough and warm enough and comfortable uh, so that it's not interfering in my my success so too and then I um, Here's my ULA backpack, you know that you've just seen in my review. I have tried it on and I think it's gonna work well. I haven't put any weight in it yet So that's kind of my plan is to get it all adjusted go out um, fill it full of gear and go out for a hike tomorrow and just see how it feels and you know work on adjustments until I get it you know to where I want it and, and make sure it's all uh, gonna work well for me uh, I want to make sure my backpack is comfortable it's super important to me the backpack and my and my shoe system are probably the two most important um, as far as my being successful and, and not being in pain so all right that's all I have today I uh, just wanted to give a little update I've made a lot of progress in a week and Still have a long ways to go. I think I have 61 days until I start. So I'm just going to keep moving forward. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to keep watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you soon.